Hey everyone, uh, Justin here from 8 to 10. Um, today we're going to talk weapon lights. Uh, weapon lights and laser combos, whatever you want to call them, with holsters. Um, every week I get at least five requests of, of making a holster with a laser light combo of a special one that I don't have listed on my website. Um, here's the thing about weapon lights, and this, this video is going to be targeted to those that are in the market of, of buying a, uh, a weapon light or a laser, whatever you're, whatever you're wanting to buy, and some things for you to think about because it's very important to be thinking um, kind of the end state in mind of what, what your, rig, your rig is going to look like uh, when you're all done. Because uh, it's easy to say, oh, I have a Glock 19 here, and I want to put a Viridian um, X5L version 2 on here. Okay, that that works. You, and there's holsters out there, but um, I can make it. I have that I have that light combo. Um, but maybe you want to have another company make your holster, and not me. Well, maybe that company doesn't have that laser light combo. So now you're caught in a a compromise so now you're either having to say okay I'll have to go with another company or I'll have to change out my light and now you've invested you know two or three hundred dollars on a laser light combo and you can't get your holster you can't carry your weapon so that's kind of the predicament I know a lot of you guys that are buying um, these weapon lights are in is you can't find um, holster makers to make you a custom holster for your your rig now, I wanna talk real quickly about some of this because um, there's a reason why some of us are only able to offer certain gun uh, with certain light combos. The, the, the brutal honest is, is it's expensive. For me to, um, great example is, I have a, a Viridian X5L green laser with the light combo right here. This, when I bought it, was like 300 and something dollars. So you got 300 here. I have a Enforce APL. This is a version one. I didn't even know until just the other day they came with a version two. So I now either have to buy a version two or put a jig here to compensate for the, the, the nut here that makes it tight on the rail, okay? I have a Surefire X400. It's about $500. Oh, by the way, I've only made one holster for this. One holster for $500. Cost benefit analysis is not there. I have an X300. X300 here. These are when they first came out, were about $300. I have an X300 Ultra. These were also, I think they're running about $295 now because these are the new version that replaced the X300. Okay, got it. You got to keep up with it. So, I mean, if you're a holster maker, you got to buy all this stuff. Um, I have a C5L. Okay. These are expensive. This is a laser light, jobby, green laser, laser light. I have a, um, I have some more over here in the boxes that I keep. My point is, it's almost impossible for us to keep up with every laser light combo and all the changes, the versions, version one, version two, um, with this modification, this, I have this special. Oh, and here's another thing. I don't know if you've ever messed with Viridian stuff, but they have all different kinds of attachments. Like, do you want your laser sitting farther out? Do you want it close up to the trigger guard? So much out there. So, um, so here's my recommendation if you're looking to buy a laser light combo or something like that for your your carry pistol or whatever pistol you're wanting to uh, to holster what i would do this is my opinion is get with a get with a company that you want to do your your um your holster and ask them what options they prefer and, and here's the reason why i'm saying this is because they're going to be able to tell you some things that um, you probably are not thinking about and a great example is I have a this is a Glock uh, 34 17 or 19 TLR 1 this is a jig okay this is a TLR 1 molded on here okay 
Notice that this channel is here. So when you say, hey, I want a, a Glock 19 with a TLR1 inside the waistband, look how wide that thing is. Once you wrap that around, it's gonna be pretty thick, okay? Is it, see that? That's how big that thing's gonna be in your pants compared to, there's a Glock 19 training gun. See how much thicker that is? That's how big that's how big it's going to be right there. So I would say this is not a good candidate for an inside the waistband. And I'll give you my recommendation, it's your choice, but um, the problem is this is one reason why I don't offer these as inside the waistband because most people are gonna be unhappy with it. I know I would be unhappy be like it's way too thick. I mean I'm not gonna carry a brick like that in my pants. It's that thick. Whereas, hold on. I just got these in. See that laser light combo in there? No, you don't. Because it's the new Surefire XC1, I believe. Yeah, XC1. Now, this right here is gonna be really popular. And so what I've done here, um, this is a great candidate for a um, inside the waistband and I have a Glock 19 with that right here notice it's real slim okay here's what's really cool about this holster is it's made for that XC1 it's molded it's got the channel just like the like I showed you on the other one but what's really what's really cool about it is I have a regular Glock 19 training gun here and it locks in so you can carry this with or without the XC1 on it so what's nice about this is let's say you just bought your Glock 19 or 23 or 17 or 22 and you're and you're saying hey I eventually want to get a laser light combo or a light combo for my um, for my gun but you're still on the fence of what to get or maybe it's a cost thing and so you're like, hey, I just don't have $200 extra to dump on a, a light. And right now, all I could afford was the gun and I just want to need to get the gun and I want to start carrying it. But I'm eventually going to get a light. This is a great, this is a great uh, option. The reason why is you can buy the holster now with the XC1 molded already on it. You can carry the gun without it. And when you get your light on there, you pop it on. And it's still, it's still holster. So, this is a great solution. Slim. Sorry. It's slim. It's going to do the job. And um, you just can't ask for a better little setup here. I mean, uh, this is going to be probably one of the most popular um, laser light combos or light it's, a, it's just a light I keep saying laser light because I have all these lasers in front of me but um, light combination to hit the market I mean this is probably the coolest um, light that I've seen it's because it's, this is the only one I know that I have where I can holster a gun without the light on it and still carry it okay so um, in closing, let's just kind of summarize. If you're wanting a, if you're looking to buy a light combo for your carry pistol as a concealed carry weapon, there's some things you need to think about. The thickness, because a lot of guys like me, I'll sell it to you. I mean, but I'm going to tell you right up front, you're not going to like it. I mean, I'm just telling you. Some people will disagree with me, but I'm telling you. It's huge. It's huge. I don't like carrying something like that for a concealed carry. Maybe an outside the waistband, sure, but not inside. That's just not me. When I can carry this, see that? So think about one, who's going to make your holster, whether it be me or somebody else. Contact them and say, hey, this is what I'm thinking about purchasing. Is this a good combo? Um, I will tell you yes or no. Um, this is a great combination, and I'll tell you exactly. This right here, this C5L, 
This is a great combination for uh, your X, uh, XDSs. Fits perfect. It's a great. It's it's just a great fit. Um, it's real streamlined, so it's going to give you a good uh, holster, and without the without the extra bulk. But when you get into these surefires and the TLR ones and all that stuff, they get big and bulky. And so uh, this is my personal opinion that most people, I'm just going to say most people, will not be happy with those kind of inside the waistband holsters. Um, so with that, in closing, um, I would highly recommend if you have a Glock 19, 22, or 23, or, um, or the 17, to look at this new Surefire XC1, it's a great com it's a great combo, um, and the best of all, I like that you can buy the holster now. You can buy one holster, so you're save you're getting two. You're basically getting two holsters in one. You get you can buy the holster for the XC1, and you can if you don't have the XC1 yet, you can still take your gun. I keep putting it in that crooked there, like this. And it'll holster it just fine until you get your XC1. Then you put it on, and it it'll holster right up. So good click. Um, it just doesn't get. I think it's the best of both worlds because I know a lot of people struggle to spend the kind of money that Surefire demands of their products, but they're great products. So let's take a quick look at this holster here. it's coming out good I'm not the best uh, YouTube video person but I'll hopefully tell you like it like it should be and um, so I think this is gonna be a great hit guys and if you really um, are on the fence of what kind of weapon light you're wanting to put on your gun I would give a hard look at this XC1 especially if you're if you're running Glocks um, it's just it's almost like it's made for that gun um, there's, it just fits it's it's a uh, it's square just like the top of the rail the way it's rounded I mean you can see this is a mold so I do apologize but I mean it's almost exactly the same width and everything I mean without putting a caliper on it I mean it's it's just perfect so this is gonna be a huge 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 hit for everybody so hey I appreciate you watching I know this was a little bit longer video than than I wanted but I think I covered some very important things that uh, you as the consumer need to be aware of, especially if you're buying uh, lights and lasers for your weapons, that we as holster makers just can't carry every single one. I mean, I would love to have every one in here sitting here, that way I can offer you every Crimson Trace, every Streamlight, every um, Surefire light, everything that's out there, it's just expensive. I mean, it's very expensive and um, to to carry those. So I try my best to carry the ones that are gonna be the most popular and the ones that I would actually put on my weapons and um, and carry. So I'm a big Surefire fan and um, I would love to get some of the Crimson Trace stuff, but um, I just can't um, break down and spend the kind of money on a um, on every single one. It's just It's just hard for me to do that, so. Anyways, um, contact your holster makers, um, get, stay uh, close with them, and if you have any questions, give me a shout, and I'll be more than happy to try to help you, and even if you don't want me to make your holster for you, I can. I know a few that are very good at making holsters, and I have no problem referring people to them. Um, it's just the way I am. I mean, I, I'd rather have a happy customer, whether it be um, whether I'm getting their money or not. I just would rather have citizens out there being happy with kydex products that's really what comes down to it because at the end of the day it's going to benefit me and the whole community so with that um thanks a lot i appreciate everything and um if you have any questions give me a shout uh, you can go to my website www.8to10.com that's e-i-g-h-t the number two t-e-n.com thanks again